The antenna measurement system, ATS-1000, has been increased in frequency and measurement capabilities over the last years so that the measurement of 5G new radio devices as well as antenna measurements up to 90 GHz can be done without modification. Today's 5G devices support various frequencies, including millimeter wave at 28 GHz, 39 GHz, or even the unlicensed 60 GHz band. However, future devices might go beyond that frequency and reach even the sub-terahertz spectrum. The ATS-1000 simplifies that these testing needs because no mechanical modification and no additional RF cabling is required. One of the common topics of today researchers is the D-band. The goal of this setup is to measure the amplitude and phase coherent response of an unknown DUT radiating in the frequency range of 110 to 170 gigahertz. Far field quantities like directivity, gain and realized gain are of interest as well as the possibility to perform post processings like near fit far field transformations and phi center calculations. The ATS-1000 consists of a conical cut positioner that allows spherical 3D scanning with an accuracy of 0.03 degrees. To measure both polarizations simultaneously, an automode transducer with two harmonic mixers is attached to the squared horn. The DUT, designed by the IMST, consists of an elliptical lens fabricated in low-cost, low-loss plastic material with a diameter of 35 millimeters. Now we are going to perform a 3D pattern measurement with an equidistant step size of 2 degrees together with our ZNA43. The setup of dual polarized simultaneous measurement allows us an extremely fast measurement time of 40 minutes for 61 frequencies with an optimal dynamic range of 50 dB. The fully automated antenna measurement is performed by our software AMS32. The software allows to perform the measurement as well as all post-processings that are required once the measurement is finished. After roughly 40 minutes, the measurement is finished and the data is obtained by the software. Let's now have a look onto the final measurement result. The normalized 2D cuts of the E-plane within an elevation range from minus 20 to plus 20 degree show a very good agreement, especially at the peak point with less than 0.1 dB difference. The comparison is done between the simulation data from Empire, the direct measurement and the near field to far field post-processed result. Finally, looking at the measured peak directivity and realized gain as a function of frequency, excellent agreement between test data and full wave simulations is observed as well. Maximum gain deviations are 1.3 dB at 170 GHz for bore side radiation. The ATS-1000, together with the ZNA-43, show the capability from Rodenschwarz to support the D-band antenna developments in a frequency range of 110 to 170 GHz for developers and researchers. Extremely fast pattern acquisition times, easy modification of electrical and mechanical components, as well as the wide portfolio of post-processing algorithms, make this Rodenschwarz ATS-1000 system unique.